Thank you, Anna. Yes, we are really glad that we are here and that we could be in this position to tip somebody <laughs> about our really efforts, uh, big efforts which we did all over these 10 years. Uh, we started uh, in 2006. Uh, at that moment, uh, I was elected to be a president of the Belgrade uh, Association of Architects. So uh, I was uh, in charge to make uh, a small team, a board of uh, 15 people. So I mainly chose my friends <laughs> because I thought that you know if you trust uh, the people, that then you, you could have a good team. So. Uh, friends who were really multidisciplinary, so we started by, you know, that some uh, of uh, us uh, uh, suggest something and then the others could support. So each year we have some kind of uh, different programs, uh, very similar to the previous uh, talks we heard from Budapest and from Sofia. So I will just uh, quickly go through all this uh, tema and just uh, to try to explain how to, to continue, because we, we uh, thought when we start to uh, establish this week <coughs> that uh, we could not see some kind of results very soon. So we make some kind of projections that maybe in 20, 30 years that we could see through, th through the young people that something could be moved in, in, in the country, in the architecture, in, in our lives. Uh, so this is a, a main um, uh, poster from the this year. Uh, uh, so from one week we we uh, established one month because uh, when we started the association of uh, Belgrade architects were our main partner and the other partner like an NGO and the other partner is a cultural center of Belgrade which which is a governmental institution. So they, they changed the program to, to one month, so we, we spread our activities to one month. Uh, this is Anja Kumlian, uh, she is doing this uh, urban yoga uh, issues in, in, in the space of the, of the cities, and she, she was one of the partners in the Future Architecture Platform, which I will speak about uh, that uh, a little bit later. So, uh, uh, when uh, we started, we made this concept, uh, again, the similar theme, to, uh, orientated to the citizen. Citizens of the city, which were completely uninformed about uh, the profession, they could uh, never look at the facades of, of, of the buildings. <coughs> they were really, you know, having these visual things, one, or one to two meters above their head. So we wanted to, uh, to explain first to them what we could do, what architecture could make uh, with our lives, with our environment. And then, uh, you know, during all these times, we, we got more uh, professional architects on our side. So first we start with the friends, and after that we got more friends and more relationships in, in this field. Uh, Really, it was uh, was a big effort to uh, to connect uh, uh, at that time uh, organizations uh, which are completely institutionals because uh, they could not have in their programs such as activities. If you speak about the, the for example, care heritage uh, institution in Belgrade, they are in in the past. So their topic is in the past, their heads in the past, their behavior in the past. So if you come and say, oh, we would like to speak more about the contemporary architecture and how this dialogue could be between the past and, and today, they could not have an answer. So they told us, oh, please go to the, to the government, to the city government, to the mayor, to the city architect and speak with them. So, you know, they, they, they always, uh, would like to say, oh, it's not our, our responsibility to speak about today, so it's some, somebody else. Uh, I would just shortly represent our team. 
Uh, then it's uh, in, uh, in, in down uh, on, on the left. You already met her in, in the uh, exhibition of uh, Energy Spot. Uh, she was uh, in that time a director of the Cultural Center. She's also an architect. Ružica Saric, also our, our friend and, and uh, co owner and, and uh, co, co uh, author. Uh, she is a practitioner, she has uh, an office with her husband and she's doing really, really good projects. Uh, uh, Dr. <coughs> Marošić, he, he was the oldest one, he's a profession, uh, professor in Architecture uh, University and uh, nowadays he's retired, but he's really fresh in his mind. He's old but very young. Uh, me and even Kutsina, who already you met him, he was on, on some talks in the university. So he is also a professor, he is, uh, uh, we could say, uh, somebody who make uh, establish his uh, urban uh, studies structure, independent uh, office uh, which works with, uh, with the students, with the citizenship, and he's also uh, trying to make this uh, and help this platform re regional and, and international. Uh, if we speak about uh, Im impact and uh, how, how this team and uh, organizations looks like, we, we did it this way. Uh, about the, the structure of the fundraising, we always have problems, like everybody. But we established somehow that 30% could come from the municipalities and from the city and from the Ministry of Culture. Somehow we, we got some kind of uh, confirmation letter that the, our manifestation is, is rich in the cultural activities, so we got about uh, 10,000 euros from, from that part, also we got another we could say roughly 10,000 euros from the engineering chamber and uh, the foreign cultural centers, which are really very active each year. And uh, one to third, this, the last part, roughly about 10,000 euros we could get from sponsors. Each year we have a lot of sponsors, which are really interesting that uh, the, they could see this combination between the architecture, interiors and materials. So through their efforts that they could promote themselves through, through the project, we come closer to the, to the public. So we have here Nevenka Duller, which is, uh, which is really one of the, the best uh, Venus uh, <laughs> walker. And uh, she, she, she got uh, 10 kilometers and, uh, uh, by, by foot. Uh, 200 kilometers by bus and 35 kilometers by boat each year. She, she was our really good fan. About the concept, uh, we already told that there is a, uh, uh, several la layers. Uh, if we could speak about the profession, you will realize that profession is not only what we hear and what we done every day in the practice, in the office, like practitioners. But the profession is more spread to the society and to the efforts of today's problems, which are everybody's problem is how to, to survive in, in, in the city, in the wild cities, in the wild economies, in the wild politicians' decisions. And uh, we could say that it's, it's a big struggle, really. Big struggle not to be so aggressive to say this is completely wrong, and also a big struggle to be out of your, yourself and out of your minds. Uh, each of one, when you started doing a profession, you just imagine your future life, how you will do it, how you will think about your future. And then when you come to the, to the position of future, then you realize it's completely opposite of everything what you thought about. So it's an it's a internal, also internal struggle how to, to have this stomach with all these uh, external influences and how to speak with everybody who thinks uh, completely opposite. This is the main uh, problem in Serbia because we don't 
have a dialogue with the different opinions. In Amsterdam, if you go to Copenhagen everywhere and uh, more to, to, the, to the north and, and west, then you see that people are having different opinions but still sitting you know, close to each other. But in, in our country, it's not possible. You know, the, the people who think opposite, they could not even come to <laughs> such, such, such a topic. So, which are really, uh, all, all of us have the same, same problems. So, we wanted to, to establish all of this, but, you know, we have a really bad, uh, bad uh, debates in which, for example, if the city architect is involved, then everybody is uh, coming with the tomatoes, you know, hitting that, so it can come down from the position, which is completely like a one-way street. So we have to, me also have to stop such, such, such a talks and, you know, to try to, to make uh, new, new uh, feelings in, in, in the public, but, you know, really was uh, was really hard uh, to 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 make it to we come to the to the conclusion that we will not open the, <coughs> the competition issues even we are uh, established what is going on uh, with the competitions because uh, everybody who did not get award <coughs> is really angry so they come to the to the to the questions and they then <laughs> they do not want to speak anything except that their work they, they have a feeling that their work is the best. This is always like that. So with some kind of education we come uh, from from the youngest part to the oldest part of the society through some kind of uh, uh, business events we establish a uh, uh, a large number of uh, profession, you know, professionalism and uh, spread this uh, innovation and cre creativity in the field of architecture and, and urban planning. Especially this topic uh, of uh, urban planning is uh, really hard because in, um, in the main uh, city, in, uh, the city of Belgrade is consists of of the three main institutions, the, the body of uh, the government, body of the mayor, uh, the body of urban planning institute, and the body of uh, city uh, lands, uh, land use, city land use. So when the city uh, and the mayor uh, think something is uh, very politically right, they just directly say that to the uh, urban uh, institute, they really make a bad drawings, completely bad, completely bad master plans. We always, like a professionals, put some kind of marks to their plans, but you know there is no answer, there is no dialogue. Uh, we put, on, on some plans we put more than 200 uh, remarks, but nothing happened. So we wanted to be urbanists at the end. <laughs> Through all our education, we imagine that in future we must go to this field to help the, the field. Because if you talk about the architecture, we could already produce good buildings and, and good structures. But if you come to the field of urban planning, it's, it's really a field when everybody has to be uh, in, in, in some kind of new mode. This structure you already see in the previous lecture, I will not speak more. It's a, it's an annual event, but still we have a, a lot of uh, things during the year. We some kind of establish uh, also an event before Vina, and there's some kind of introduction. And this structure you already see, and also Vina on tour, that uh, it's really uh, good that we have each year in the niche, in Novi Sad, everywhere, in, in Temeshwar, in Prague, uh, we have some kind of uh, collaboration and exchange things. This is how we started, uh, like some kind of different logo, then we later changed because we we thought that uh, maybe it's better to be uh, an organization of the city. Uh, we were influenced by the London uh, Architectural Week uh, because they, they were, in that period of time, against the Biennale of Architecture. 
saying that in Vienna, uh, in Venice, you have some kind of really um, order of, uh, of some kind of uh, ceremonial uh, uh, awarded honors, which is really out of what is happening in the field of profession. So um, they told that <coughs> London Festival of Week, they will manage such a things we establish also on the street, in, in the city, in the courtyards, between the people and between the organizations. So some kind of uh, uh, pictures about uh, the lectures and the exhibitions and the city walks, which are really, really nice, uh, really uh, educative and really uh, interesting. And also people are getting closer and uh, they, they really adore architectural uh, walks. Uh, also, uh, when we speak about the heritage uh, structure, we also uh, have in mind uh, some kind of really important uh, personalities, uh, like uh, Bogdan Bogdanovic has, and we also remind on his uh, completely opus and, and, and his field of study, which was uh, completely uh, interesting. It's a monumental architecture. Uh, he, he made uh, a very nice uh, uh, drawings, architectural drawings. Also, he, he leaves us more than 10 books, very important. And a big, uh, a big um, archive, which is at the moment in Vienna. So we establish connections with Vienna. We come uh, to Belgrade with all these uh, archetypes of his uh, his uh, memorial uh, things, so we, we put that to the public and it was really, really successful. Also, there is some kind of new uh, museums in Belgrade, uh, 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 also in, in a heritage uh, culture uh, field, uh, that they, uh, just with this uh, glass roof, they, they established some kind of connection with the contemporary architecture, so in that <coughs> sense, we also like to, to promote not only the, 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 the topic of uh, Belgrade Architectural Week, but also the spaces of, of the city. Uh, in 2009, we, we thought that Chilean architecture is really <coughs> important, so uh, Alexandra Ravena and uh, 10 others were presented in Belgrade and also uh, was uh, from, from their university a professor uh, who, who told the story about how the Chilean architecture uh, promote uh, that architecture could be export uh, in the world. So in, in that time uh, when, when he was in Belgrade he told us that there is uh, more than 20 small schools of architecture in Chile so by some kind of private and really interesting uh, methodology in, in the schools of architecture, they spread this idea uh, to, to everybody and also they, they establish themselves to be on some kind of peak of the world architecture. Uh, very, very successful conference were established, Oana were, were there, in the uh, Cultural Center of Belgrade uh, about citizen and city making. And we realized that uh, this um, field is completely a big question mark to everybody. Uh, it's a, a big question mark to the professionals <coughs> who could not understand why we need the citizen, wh what we need from them. And also for, for the citizen is a big question mark uh, how they could you know, be active in the process of, of the city making because there is no democratic field uh, about that in Serbia and Belgrade. Uh, they could put some kind of remarks, but there is no such a procedure <coughs> which are, you know, uh, uh, successful and which could be some kind of uh, good result from, from the both sides. So we just started about that and I think that maybe from from this year, we could 
do some kind of more things uh, about, I, I, I saw the, the, the city architect yesterday, I spoke with him, and I realized that there is a, some kind of, you know, small narrow space in the political things that they could maybe accept something to have some kind of container for the for the citizen uh, workshops and something like that in the spaces which are completely abandoned. So we will try to do more, but still I think, and also if, if you read the books, then there is a, a huge uh, and a nice theory about the, the future society, but still we are with this some kind of uh, capitalism things uh, completely on some kind of, you know, different, uh, different uh, street. Uh, we also uh, uh, establish a meta house in the uh, exhibition in London uh, during this culture Olympic Games. It was our really good success. Uh, we, we got the money and support from the Ministry of Culture, so we spoke about uh, what is really interesting in Serbia, which is really completely different from other countries, is this Neolithic architecture, which is uh, about six to seven thousand years before uh, the time we, we, we changed. So we show really interesting uh, spaces of uh, the small housing, uh, about 200 and 300 houses or, or organizing in Stubrine, which is really close to the Belgrade city. So it really was a, a very, very nice uh, presentation and exhibition and lectures there. Also, we managed with uh, Vladimir Kuric, who is our, our friend uh, living in, in uh, uh, America, uh, this project about the modernization, which is also interesting in Belgrade, that we uh, accepted this uh, uh, this structure from Athens uh, uh, period. So, so our our plan is interesting in in the way that this uh, the central uh, parts, which are uh, 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 completely unfinished till today, more than seventy years, are some kind of uh, uh, good good uh, issues for study for the future how this, uh, this structure of modernism was planned in, in a good way and how it's ruined at, at the moment because there is some kind of uh, very, very uh, aggressive architecture and urban plans which are, co which are completely in, in a different style. For example, they are speaking about some kind of baroque structure which is some kind of new ideas in this really strong orthogonal uh, schema. So we will uh, we establish this with, uh, with Zagreb and with the Slovenia, with Croatia and Slovenia, and then we spread it more. But still there is, a, there is an, an issue how to, to reconstruct this uh, completely new, new part of the city. At the moment, there is uh, two competitions which will have some kind of opportunity to give uh, so, uh, some kind of new answer to this uh, tema. Uh, we did uh, this uh, pavilion uh, uh, on wood uh, with the Norway uh, Culture Fund. We got about 20,000 euros uh, uh, through the competition and uh, we make it completely, uh, it's a completely wood structure, very nice shape of this uh, Gradas and the columns, uh, more than uh, uh, its uh, dimensions uh, 9 by 8 meters, and it's a typical classroom. So it's a student classroom with some kind of possibility to be an exhibition, to be a, a, a space for, for <coughs> some kind of events. So we are really proud to have this. Uh, this pavilion in, in the space of Belgrade, so we will use it for all our projects. But this is our anniversary of uh, public events. It, we graphically uh, wanted to establish everything what we succeeded during these years. <coughs> uh, this is a future architecture platform. We were now in the second year of this program. Uh, 
So we uh, did the, the first year with the exhibition, the second year will be a conference, uh, mainly a focus on countryside. So our question about that uh, next year will be, would you like to live in the city or in the countryside? So what do you prefer <laughs> for your life? So we will see how people are really, you know, uh, endorsed by the, by the city, because cities are attracting uh, people and making more and more uh, narrow spaces. But uh, uh, I think parallelly we, we, we just uh, have to, to have in mind that it's not so, so nice to live in the center of the city, so it's much better to be on the countryside. This is our, our part, uh, also also with Anya in Belgrade, Miloš Kosic and, and other, others which take part in uh, the exhibition of uh, energy spots in Belgrade, the, the points which are really interesting to be, to be established like some kind of new places and uh, some kind of uh, new, new center focus uh, for, for the next period of time. And uh, we also wanted to, to, to say that we are proud to be also a part of a create, uh, Shared City Creative Momentum project. Uh, Osama will tell you more later. We are some one of the city in the structure of, of six cities, Belgrade, Berlin, Bratislava, Budapest, Katowice, and Prague and Warsaw, so we would uh, really looking forward for the next period of time to, to have some kind of more, more and good results. We got awards from the uh, city of Belgrade, from the special professional awards and also in Sarajevo and in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in from the Association of Engineers and Technicians in Serbia. And this is the, the last uh, uh, picture about the, the architecture for kids. Uh, we establish a platform to them, so we, we think they will be our uh, new, new modern people thinking in and living in some kind of better, uh, better uh, uh, cities and with the, with the better lives. Thank you.